as the NASCAR Winston Cup Series welcomes you to Colorado Raceway in Denver, Colorado for the running as a Craftsman 500. We will got the 16 of the finest and greatest NASCAR Winston Cup Series drivers. They will be going head to head, side by side, bumper to bumper, and trade paint for 20 laps here at this short track. And the fans are ready to see an awesome race. So are we. These 16 drivers can't wait to get behind the wheel. Here we got the Labani brothers. Bobby Labani and Terry Labani. Sharing the front row for today's race. Here we got Jeff Gordon. Fastest in all the practice sessions. Pretty sturdy today. Not the best qualifying one, but he can get up front. Tony Stewart. He crashed in qualifying. He will start at the back. Same thing with the number 99 of Jeff Burton. He crashed in qualifying as well. And he will start at the back. And now let's get your command and start engines to kick off today's race. Gentlemen, start your engines. 16 NASCAR Winston Cup Series drivers are rolling off to do their pace laps. So let's get to your starting lineup for today's race. On our first row, we got the Labonte brothers, Terry Labonte and Bobby Labonte. Row two, it is Bill Elliott and Johnny Benson. On row three, we got Kurt Busch and Ricky Rudd. On row four, we got Hedrick Motorsports teammates Wally Donlabat Jr. and Jeff Gordon. On row five, it is Mark Martin and Todd Bodine. On the sixth row, we got Matt Kenseth and Ricky Craven. On row seven, it is Tony Stewart and Jeff Burton both crashed during qualifying. And the final row. We got Michael Waltrip and Jeff Bodine. Both of them blew up an engine during their practice runs, and they'll be starting at the back as well. And before we go racing here at Colorado, NASCAR has decided to do a tribute lap, a three-wide salute in honor of the late John Andretti, who sadly passed away back in late January, early this year, due to cancer. He won two NASCAR Cup races at Daytona and Martinsville. He did IndyCar, sports cars, drag racing. He was just a man who loved racing. As John Andretti's car has taken the checkered flag one last time, the three white salute is done. We will be right back. Kick off today's race. So this is what happened with Tony Stewart's qualifying run. He locked up in turn three, hit the wall, and for Jeff Burton, he got loose off for turn one. Spun, overcorrected, hit the wall. Now here we are, the pace car turns left. The Labonte brothers will shut the front row. Time to let them loose and we're underway here at Colorado. Look at Bill Elliott making a fast move. He shot out like a rocket at the back straight away. Now look at him, leading the first lap here at Colorado. Side by side for the race lead between Terry Labonte and Bill Elliott as they come off for turn three and four. Here comes the 10 of Johnny Benson. Where did he come from? Three wide and he leads the second lap. As we're on board with the number 10 Valvoline Pontiac driver as he leads them off to turn three and four. Here comes Terry Labani. Labani leads that lap. Here comes Jeff Gordon trying to get around his teammate Wally Dollarback. Kurt Bush in third. Here comes Jeff Gordon going around Kurt Bush for third. As we got a battle for seventh on back between teammates Matt Kenseth and Mark Martin. Now the three wide. Look at Michael Watcher making a run on Tony Stewart. Wow, not even halfway to this race, and this race has been a typical short track race in a good way. Fans are loving it. As Labani leads another lap, the other Labani, Bobby Labani, he started at the front row, but he dropped like a rock ever since. And Terry Labani is going through lap traffic. That's the hardest part of being a race leader, going through lap traffic at a short track race. And he's about to put his brother a lap down. And here comes Bill Elliott. He was outside the top five, and here he is going for the race lead. Bill Elliott will take the lead. Bobby Labonte is lapped down and Ron Boyd with Terry Labonte as he leads this race. And how about Jeff Gordon? He's got a fast car all weekend long. Not a good qualifying run. And look at him. He's trying to go around the number nine of Bill Elliott for second. Here comes Terry's teammate Jeff Gordon. And the 18 of Bobby Labonte appears to have lost power. He's been dropping like a rock since the start of the race. He's going to go behind the wall. Oh, no! Terry Labonte has crashed alongside with Ricky Craven. Caution's out. And, folks, looks like we're going to have ourselves some short track tempers going on here at Colorado. Look at them going at it. Trading paint, rubbing each other. They're both angry. Wow. 
And Ricky Craven turns Terry Labonte. Oh, no. That is not a good look for Craven. NASCAR says they're going to park it. But right now, Terry and Ricky, they're talking things out. There's some pushing and shoving. Red flag is out. Jeff Gordon's now a race leader. Man, oh, man, what a mess. As the fans are going wild, we're going to take a look at the replay. It looks like Craven got hooked into Labonte. Labonte thought he was clear, but it looks like Craven was still there. Both of them got into the wall. And just, wow. And there's Jeff Gordon, Terry's teammate, take a lead. And I'm sure Jeff Gordon is shocked, just like we are. Wow, we never expected this. And let's take a look at the replay here, how Craven took a Labonte. Looks like Craven backed off, and wow, he had the right opportunity to take out Labonte. Man, that is not pretty. So Nasser called Ricky Craven to park it. He's done for the day. Terry Labonte will be back on track after getting repairs. Just, I just can't believe this happened. Unbelievable. So it looks like Terry Labonte will be going to his pit road. Ricky Craven will be behind the wall since he's parked. Terry will have some repairs as soon as the red flag is lifted. We are still in a red flag situation. And here are the remaining drivers on track with Jeff Gordon leading. Ricky Rudd will be back on the lead lap and we will be right back. The red flag has been lifted here at Colorado Raceway. NASCAR has decided to do a shootout with three laps to go. Terry Labonte is still getting some repairs. He might be a couple laps down for the restart and we'll be right back once again. And we welcome you back to Colorado. We're going to have a three-lap shootout. Jeff Gordon will lead him down. We're back on the way here at Colorado. Bill Elliott moves. Jeff Gordon is just side-by-side at the backstretch. Bill Elliott's going to take the lead in turn number four with two laps to go. Mark Martin goes way up high. He's in a wall. Oh, they're crashing at the start-finish line. Michael Walker, Todd Bodon, Ricky Rudd, Jeff Burton gets collected. Cautions out. The big one strikes. And Bill Elliott is going to win the Craftsman 500 at Colorado Raceway. NASCAR has called the drivers to stop at the backstretch because of the huge mess at the start-finish line. There's Ricky Rudd, Michael Walter, Mark Martin, top of the line. Jeff Burns stopping at the backstretch as well. Let's take a replay of what happened. It looks like Mark Martin had a steering problem exiting turn four. Then he hit the wall. Then Rudd got into Walter. Then Jeff Burns rear-ended top of the line. Jeff Bodine did avoid the crash. And then look at Bodine. Ooh, right into Mark Martin. Thankfully, everybody's okay. The cleanup continues. There's Ricky Rudd being towed. Mark Martin getting to the flatbed. Top of line crab walking away from the incident. There's Michael Watrop who had a solid race today. He's crab walking out of the incident. As we go on board with number 21, trying to back off so he can get out of the scene of the incident. As he's crab walking out of the incident as well. And the front stretch has been cleaned up. That means Bill Elliott can go celebrating in front of the fans. We would like to congratulate the number nine Dodge team from Everham Motorsports on the victory at Colorado. He had a fast car all race long. And here he is doing burnouts right now. Awesome job. Awesome Bill from Dawsonville. The Dawsonville sirens are ringing right now at the pool table. We welcome you back to the post-race show here at Colorado. The race just concluded, and it was a great short track race. A wild, short ending. Let's look at the finishing results. There is Bill Elliott, who has had a fast car in victory lane. Jeff Gordon, who's also had a fast car after starting eighth. He comes on second. There's Johnny Benson. He finishes third after a good run today. Wally Donlebach with a good race, finishing in fourth place. And how about Kurt Busch? He's been quiet all race long. He's been consistent. He finishes top five. Tony Stewart, after starting at the back after qualifying crash, he finishes top 10 in sixth place. Matt Kenseth, he finishes seventh. There's one driver saying, I should have won this race. It's Terry Labonte, after dominating all race long. Unfortunately, after being caught up in the crash, he finishes eighth. Jeff Bodine, after avoiding that crash, apparently he got a piece of it. He finishes ninth. And Jeff Burton, who was part of the crash, he finishes 10th. Michael Waltrip, he finished 11th after being part of that crash. 
Tyler Bodine comes home in 12th place. And Mark Martin, who's at a top 10 car today, he finishes 13th after being part of the crash. Ricky Rudd, who's had a solid race today, he finishes 14th after being part of the crash. And Ricky Craven, who was parked for taking out Terry Labonte under yellow, he finishes 15th. And in last place is Bobby Labonte, who started at the front row alongside with his brother, had some problems. So we would like to say thank you all for watching this amazing race. We hope you really enjoyed it. Give it a like, comment, and subscribe for more content. This is the Impress 48, and I want to say thank you guys for watching this race. Thank you for supporting Game Nation. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube channel notifications for more content and more stop motions. This is Ian. Have a great day, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye, everybody.